Hi guys, I'm here for a quick little intro. I just wanted to say a couple of things. I still live with my parents, so my mom does most of the cooking. This video isn't really a recipe video or a cooking video. It's just to show you guys what I eat. Uh, secondly, if you find yourself constantly comparing what you eat to what I eat throughout this video, I recommend you to go watch my last video which was my health slash fitness journey if you haven't watched it already because I think it's a really important video that everyone should watch. That's it for my quick intro. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. As soon as I wake up, I like to drink my glass of water that I've prepared the night before. I always leave a glass next to my bed so I can wake up and just drink my water to wake myself up a little bit. For breakfast, I'm eating one sweet potato with peanut butter, some apple slices, and milk. That's actually soy milk. I'm eating it with peanut butter because that's going to keep me more full throughout the day. So yeah, and they taste really good together. For lunch, I have some kiwis and a nectarine, I think. And then I have a croissant sandwich with cheese, ham, lettuce, I think. For dinner, I had star-fried pork with rice and lettuce. some prunes for a source of fibers and drank more water if you guys want to see an updated workout routine definitely hit that thumbs up button <laughs> it's like 11 30 right now so i kind of have to be quiet but i'm gonna make overnight oats personally i like oatmeal but i like them better when they're cold so I'm gonna show you guys how I make them. You're gonna have to make this the night before so the oats can soften overnight. I like to use the Quaker oats. This is the old fashioned. I'm gonna add half a cup of this into the mason jar. Take some chia seed, which is a great source of fiber. I'm gonna add in like two spoons. And this is going to expand overnight and turn into a jelly consistency. Adding this cocoa powder is going to give that chocolate taste without adding tons of sugar. I'm going to put in that much. I'm going to add one half cup of this. Top it off with some crushed walnuts. And then tomorrow morning, all I have to do is to just add a banana. Day, another glass of water <sighs> so I poured my overnight oats into a separate bowl and added banana slices for some sweetness and I also ended up adding a bit more milk and I also added honey for sweetness for lunch I have a salad dressing strawberries and bananas I have a salmon salad with apple, avocado, smoked salmon, and kale mix. I just got home from school and I grabbed this sweet potato that was sitting in my kitchen because I'm hungry and I want to eat something for a snack. So I got this frozen cauliflower rice 
Uh, this is supposed to taste like rice when it's cooked correctly. It's just a great way to get in more veggies in your diet. This took me less than five minutes, so if it tastes good, that would be amazing. I added a little bit of sugar and soy sauce, and then I added in an egg, and I scrambled it together. My cauliflower rice had lemon in it, which kind of doesn't really go along with the fried rice taste. But overall, it's pretty good. I think I'm going to add ketchup though to make it a bit more flavorful this is really cool because it actually does taste like rice but I'm eating veggies for some reason I'm always the most tired on Wednesday so of course I have to make myself some coffee I used a frother for the first time this day and it was so cool. For breakfast, I had a croissant with peanut butter and strawberry jam and I ended up eating two croissants because I was not full with just one. For lunch, I have Stacy's pita chips which are so good. We have nectarine slices and strawberries. I'm expecting a sandwich. Cheese, ham, lettuce, pickles. My friend got me my favorite Hershey's Gold peanuts and pretzels chocolate bar. So I ended up eating like half of it at school because I was bored and I wanted something to snack on. So I had half of that, but I'm gonna leave the half for later because I want to save it. I'm so tired today. I had like two tests and two quizzes. Didn't get much sleep last night, so I was going to make myself another cup of coffee But I know I'm gonna regret tonight if I do drink another coffee So I'm just going to drink some iced lemon water I got this cup yesterday and I'm in love with it Cause it comes with a straw but you can take it out And this hole closes automatically so you can like shake it and nothing's gonna spill out, which is so nice. I have some fruit left over from lunch today, so I'm just gonna eat the rest of this for a snack. This water did not wake me up, but I'm resisting the coffee because I wanna sleep tonight. For dinner, I had Hayashi rice. I don't know if that's how it is in English, but I had that with a side of salad and kimchi. Mango popsicle for dessert. For Thursday's breakfast, I had French toast with bananas and some coffee. For lunch, I had a salmon salad with avocados, eggs, tomatoes, and spring mix and some nectarine slices. For dinner, I had onion pepper beef stir fry with flower shaped buns. This is like Chinese food that my mom made at home and they were so good. After dinner, I was still feeling a bit hungry, so I ended up making myself some smoothies. breakfast I had fried rice with real rice this time and some apple slices for lunch I have my favorite Stacy's pita chips apple slices cherry tomatoes and then a sandwich with avocado and crab sticks we should order when he comes
Hello everyone, so today I'm actually going on a ski trip to North Carolina which is a little bit random but it's MLK day on Monday and I don't have school so my family's going to North Carolina which is about six hours away so I'm not going to be eating home cooked meals for the next two days but hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how I eat healthy and balance my food while I'm traveling I made some oatmeal on the go. I just added some oats, almond milk, and blueberries. I microwaved it for about two minutes and added some peanut butter and cacao nibs. I had the hotel's oatmeal, egg white, omelet, and cinnamon for breakfast. Ate some red bean bun for lunch and this huge tonkatsu for lunch slash dinner.